gentlemen, welcome back to the Sheridan Centre in the heart of downtown Toronto for the Canadian National uh, X-Wing Championships. We have an All-American final. Uh, the Howard Brothers in an epic square down. Hey everybody, it's R5 Don 4. I was on earlier in the day. We are going to see, see what these Howard Brothers can do. We've got the elusive Duncan Howard on stream. Check out all of his cool alt art cards on the side there. Uh, yeah, he's got this. He's got this really cool uh, score to settle um, with custom with Nathan Ede and Paul Heaver. So we're just going to go quickly through the lists here. Um, so Duncan, who has not been on stream yet, uh, Jeremy's had a. A few rounds on the stream already today, so I'll just go through Duncan's list real quick. It's another variation of his uh, ever popular Palp Aces. So we've got uh, Quick Draw with Expertise, Fire Control System, Sensor Cluster, Lightweight Frame, and Special Ops Training. And then we've also got Omega Leader with a Score to Settle, Calm Relay, and Hull Upgrade. So very uh, unusual builds for both of those ships. And then we've paired them with a Captain Yor. Uh, which is a Lambda shuttle. Love stress eating it all day long. Nom, nom, is, nom, 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 nom. Which nom. is painted like a Cobra Kai uh, dojo theme, black and yellow. And then he's all, he's got Collision Detector because it's zero points, and Emperor Palpatine because he's a diehard Palp Ace man. And then, uh, Tim, you just want to go ahead and run through Jeremy's list one more time for anybody who's just tuning in now? Sure, yeah, thanks. This is the third match in a row we've seen I Jeremy. So, yeah. Jeremy's been doing really well so far today. I'm really looking forward to him spanking his uh, baby brother in this one there, Don. Je uh, Jeremy running a variation of the list called Ego, which is massive damage mitigation uh, right. of all different kinds of uh, shapes and sizes here. He's got uh, a Miranda Doni at 47 points. He's got the TLT regen, uh, extra munitions, two harpoon missiles, a bomblet generator, uh, C-3PO for extra damage mitigation uh, in, in guidance chips. Opted to go for C-3PO instead of Sabine. Happy to take that slow bleed and, and win uh, lots of matches on uh, yeah. points at time, which he definitely has for the weekend. It just goes to show about his endurance as a player. Um, also sporting a 30-point low rec, nice and lean with Draw Their Fire Wookiee Commandos. Loves eating those crits. Nom, 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 nom. Just breaks them off. Uh, as long as he's in range one, he can mitigate one damage with his reinforced token as well as the Draw Their Fire there. And then rounds everything out uh, off with a 23-point uh, uh, Fen Rao, uh, adaptabilities it down to PS8 so that um, he can opt to activate Miranda and Low in any um, any particular order that he wants. And uh, Fen Rao, of course, has Tactician and Flight Assist Astromech. So um, Duncan's definitely going to want to avoid the range 2 ban of Fen Rao's uh, forward and aft arcs. So this is, the, I believe, the fourth time we've had the pleasure of having Duncan Howard out. Um, and the third time Jeremy Howard has been out. It's the third time. It's the third, third time he's made it up. Third time for Duncan? It's the third time he's made it up, yeah. Third time for Duncan and third time for Jeremy, then? And first time for Jeremy. It's not the first time for Jeremy. It is Maybe the second? Second time. No, I, I don't know. Because I met them <laughs> and the... Uh, Fan Expo, that's where they were both very new to the game at that point, but I met them. Yeah, that was 2014, and this is the fifth one, so that was the second one. 2014, geez, how old are you? Pretty old. Yeah, 2014, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so long ago. But yeah, so. Have we been playing X Wing this long? What is happening? Well, I have. <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh, happy to have you, Don. Uh, on behalf of all the listeners who have been tuning in all weekend, uh, a sincere thank you to you uh, and Travis for uh, producing and running the stream content throughout the weekend and uh, and giving the people what they want. We've had hundreds of people tuning in live. Uh, I awesome. imagine that uh, we'll probably have a few people uh, chiming in, watching the content after the fact on our YouTube channel. You can navigate over there and uh, like and subscribe to VWTV Live's YouTube channels. They're also on Twitch, and they have a Facebook page. The um, 
the wonderful uh, crit token you see next to Miranda Doni, by the way, folks, is a custom crit token. Duncan loves to play with it's a um, image of a, a dog sitting on a chair in a burning room, going, "Everything's fine. This is fine." If you understand the cartoon reference, you'll get it. It is to signify Duncan's zero point EPT on Omega Leader, which is a score to settle. Right. He has applied the a debt to pay a condition card to Miranda. Duncan has been <laughs> jovially uh, boasting all weekend that Canada has a debt to pay. This is the third time he's come up here to try and get the national title, and it looks like he's going to be able to pull it off this time as long as his uh, as long as his big brother doesn't uh, stop him from doing it. So, I don't know, Don. Who's your money on? Oh, I don't know. It's hard to say because I've only ever seen Jeremy play, uh, you know, Imperial, so after seeing him pull out the Rebels, it's like, what is going on? I don't know. My mind is blown. I didn't know they had the other ships. You didn't know they owned the ships? Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> it's, it's like the first time you see uh, Alan play Scum or something like yeah. that from our end. It's like, that does not make any sense. What, what, what? Exactly. So the first time I saw Devo run two big bay ships, I thought I was hallucinating. Right. Because he's a swarm unsettlingly player. unsettlingly weird yeah. when that stuff happens. You know, you... You, peop, you know people by what they like to play, and when they're not playing that, it's like they change their face. It's like, I don't know you. <laughs> Jeremy taking a much faster approach up the board edge right here than he did in the previous match against Dash Poe. I wonder if that's because he really wants to try and get around and tr start trying to put uh, a pursuit on the shuttle. I don't think it's really going to work, though. I, I, I tend to see Duncan probably banking the shuttle away and just keeping it out of the fight as long as possible. I don't know. This is a really odd matchup because you've got brothers, both top players, both top four worlds. World-class players. You know, it could be they both, you know, gentlemen to, uh, you know, to some limitation. But, you know, this is, world, this is a premier event. They're going to play to win, you know. And who? It's anybody's game, really. It's a little bit more aggressive than I was expecting from uh, from Quick Draw. There, he's really lining himself up to. Uh, oh no, he's got a barrel roll. Okay, good. Right, but he's still making that pincer hole. He's getting, he's, you know, he sees where Jeremy's ships are going. He wants okay. to keep his options open. Fen's going to do the two straight here. Probably get to proc flight assist astromech. Yep, he's doing the boost. Okay, Flight Assist Astromech is a great one-point uh, droid there. Right. We've it's seen this list in a few ways. I don't think we need to go too into the list. If you've been watching any of the other videos or up right. to this point, you you'll know what uh, you'll know what's up. Right. I'm very glad that they didn't go with their follow-through on their threat to just play this at home in their parents' dining room. <laughs> Because that would have been just like, oh, man. I don't know if Victor and Travis and I could have set up the camera down there. I don't know. I don't know. It would have been trouble. No, it's like you said. Um, you know, there's always a lot of fun, constructive cross-border competition between Canada and the U.S., and both the Howard boys have uh, said this weekend that you know they came across some absolutely top-notch players uh, from, from all over Canada and their own compatriots that made it up here. I've got uh, a couple of Americans in the top eight cut of the IA uh, mm -hmm. championships as well. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I mean, Canada and U.S., we've been going back and forth for the last few months, and right. uh, there's great players on both sides of the border. We're all, uh, yeah. we're all having fun. Yeah, so I guess this is payback for Detroit last weekend. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fair enough. But it's very or, uh, or maybe it was the one Allen from, from earlier maybe. this season in Rochester. I don't know, but you know what? It's true. Or it's Philly. Yeah. Philly was fun. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. System open down there. Yeah. Oh, very aggressive from Lowark. Wow. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Jeremy was just YOLOing here and going straight at his brother. Yeah. Yeah. He always stay in formation. Well, he's definitely got the damage mitigation to uh, to take on um, Duncan's list here. I mean, he right. he he has the idea. It's almost it's funny, you know. They've got lists that are designed to take on the entire field, but they've also got lists that are designed, uh, ironically, uh, fantastically to take on each other. Right? Duncan, I, I saw him just take apart a decimator with Palp. Mm -hmm. um, because all you have to do is score to settle the decimator and, and yeah. then lock it with Omega Leader, <laughs> and, and Palp's useless, right? So in this case, um, Jeremy has the draw their fire. So as long as he's keeping Miranda close to Lorik, Lorik can eat those crits for Miranda. So there's that famous uh, Canada-US target locks. Which I do. They, 
I do like them. They've got. I think that the, you know, the candidate being is, is a, embarrassingly small there. Compared to the American target lock. <laughs> well, it's a funny target lock. It's <laughs> funny. It's for all in fun. Yeah. It's just nice to be threatening. That's all. <laughs> well, hopefully uh, hopefully the uh, the world championships stay in North America oh, this yeah. year. And then they won't go back overseas. Jeremy's taking a target lock with his Miranda on quick draw. No, he can't. Oh, so we're going a different target lock to avoid confusion. There we go. Funny for stream. There we go. There's the South Carolina. The South Carolina 2000, which is funny because both. I thought these guys were from Maryland. They are from Maryland, yeah. Oh, okay. So that's from the crates, obviously, with all the crate. That's where the crates are based. So basically, anybody from the East Coast of the U.S. is a crate? Is that what the, the deal I is? Know, I, I guess the crates would, uh, yes, they would agree to that. Okay, fair. <laughs> so it looks as, like... Uh, as Travis didn't make his way up this time. Uh, I'm oh, I miss him. Travis, yeah. He'd say, yes, we'll take that. It looks like uh, Fen Rao has PS'd up to 9. We'll get that corrected in a second. Um, Adaptability displays yeah. uh, havoc with our overlay. Yeah, so Travis, if you wouldn't mind, uh, the Fen Rao on Jeremy's side actually PS'd up to 9. That's why he shot first. This Duncan passed initiative. Yeah, Fenrau adaptability up to PS9, and Jeremy has initiative, I believe. So he would be PS10 if he's go up, because Fenrau is naturally a 9. You're right, yeah, so he would so PS up to 10. PS You're right, yeah, 10. PS up to 10. Apologies. I can do basic math. It's been a long weekend. Brain's a little fried, boy. As I say on the east coast of Canada, brain's a little fried there by... Side by each. <laughs> Along may your big jib draw by. <laughs> yeah, boy. All right, so we got some shots being exchanged. Quick draw establishing the FCS target lock on those, Lorik. Yeah, it's for are, afterwards. So it's only going to take the one focus. Those target locks are mirror kisses. Lorik cleanly using. evades with his uh, any token. I don't have my uh, table mic on. Can you just keep track of who's uh, uh, palping for me? All right, sure. Yeah, because you got the table mic in your ear, I right? I do have it. Okay. Uh, it wasn't a second ago, no. It's this red splitter. Put it in this one? No, I got no sound. Oh, wow. Miranda's five dice really harp. Mar Miranda's five dice harpoon missile just doing massive damage there. Sorry, I was just saying that Duncan's very... So there, we're using the palp. He's very good with using the palp token. Yeah. Okay, so Quick Draw lost two shields on that harpoon missile and has been uh, harpooned, and then he's taking his revenge shot. Rolls one eyeball. So Lorik is going to take... Uh, looks like he's going to take two. No, he's taking one damage. Yes, okay. Range three uh, shot Mega Leader's also shooting at Lorik. Looks like range two. It's range three. It is range three. Wonderful. Uh, double hit from Omega Leader. Blanks from Lorik. One reinforce. One last shield from Lorik. Oh, note the damage goes through. Okay. And quick draw should be harpooned. So both of these boys are also hot off of regional wins, I believe. Wookie Commandos, Lorik landing three hits. Shooting at Quick Draw. Shield's gone on. Spending his focus, and that was the last shot off of Quick Draw. Okay, so Duncan has lost his ability to revenge double tap. Shuttle going to take a range three obstructed shot on Lorik as well. So the Lorik will roll three dice with reinforce. Oh, he's shooting Miranda. Oh, no, he's going back to Lorik. He is going to shoot Lorik. I mean, back, you got the, you got the back, damage forward. on Lorik. Might as well, right? Yeah. Oh, dear. Lorik just oh, wow. taking all the damage. One going through there. So Lorik on four health left. Now it's they're a in the, pretty entering good start. the cleanup phase. Pretty good start. I mean, if Duncan can trade the shuttle or one of his aces for Lorik and uh -huh. help stop the... I think one of the biggest problems that um, Jeremy's list presents, Duncan, is that draw their fire crit mitigation that uh, Omega Leader relies on. Oh, yeah. So if if um, Duncan can tra trade 
one of his aces or half health in the shuttle or what have you for lower it's a pretty good option there right yeah I, it's really good score to settle is really powerful and it's a really undervalued underused uh upgrade we don't see a lot of it you know for zero points <laughs> there's only one zero point ept better than score to settle and travis you know which one it is would you like to remind our viewers here it it's is. a thematic one that's been present all weekend. All players get and it, there it, folks. Is. It's St. Patrick's Look Day the weekend, so all you got to do is once per turn. What? Yeah, just once per turn. Just once per turn. I feel like it's balanced. You know, <laughs> I feel like the shuttle is too far out of position to I possibly know. eat uh, quick draw stress if quick draw decides to sloop. Oh yeah, uh, ship that's, left. Well, it's yeah, ship in left. its present position. Yes. I mean, the shuttle could very easily two bank, and then it would be close. But yeah. there's not an entirely bad thing if Quick Draw were to do that sloop because it would be behind Lorik at that point. Yeah. What? Now yeah. Jeremy has to clear stress with Fenrau, otherwise Fen's going to be in a bit of a tricky situation. He won't be able to use his pilot ability, and this, of course, is not the course is not the hotshot co-pilot um fen Rao. this is the uh, tactician fen Rao. right so he's did fen Rao actually take it range two shot at quick draw or was range three we said yes yeah it was range yeah. three they measured so no tactician there he was rolling the extra die jeremy considering his move very carefully here definitely worth uh, taking an extra couple of minutes to think about it here yeah and it's very difficult it's very taxing to be on stream under those lights for game after game and you know it's, uh, you also have to think creatively. I mean, one of the biggest challenges of, of this type of matchup mm -hmm. is you're playing an opponent who knows everything about you. Oh, he knows yeah. the way you think. Right. He knows when you like to be squirrely and unpredictable. Yep. So it's like, if he thinks I'm doing this, I should do that. But if he thinks that I think that I'm thinking that he's going to think that I could do that, right. and it's just on and on down the rabbit yeah. hole you go. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I'm not sure of the exact age difference between those two, but um, you know they're they are very close. It's it's nice to see. They, there's a real good camaraderie between the two of them. I have a, I have a, I feel fortunate enough to to say that I, I have a very similar relationship with my two brothers. We don't do everything together, unfortunately. Only one of them likes X-wing enough to go to an event for, with me. But right. I mean, the two of these uh, fine gentlemen actually have a third brother that's in between them in age. And right. I know that the that one doesn't play X-wing either. But, right. Um, Although their dad does. That's what I'm told as yeah. well. Yeah. Both of them are, uh, I, I'm also aware that both of them are fairly active on the um, the Facebook uh, Star Wars Swap and Sell uh, merch page. Yep. You can just search Star Wars Swap and Sell in Facebook and mm -hmm. get it. It's uh, a page where they like to go and, uh, you know. Sell that swag. Sell that swag. Yeah, sell your loot. Like a dirty pirate. <laughs> 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 All right, where's go. the shuttle going? Help. Oh, paint job on that shuttle thing. is magnificent. Holding the rock. Make sure we don't get slip up. Okay, Howard, the one true Howards. We will find out which one it is shortly. Lovely, just lovely. Uh, so, yeah. well played. So there's some dispute. Did he nick? Did he not nick? Did not nick. Okay. You'll know that we're into a proper uh, disagreement when the ships stop moving around the board and you hear the sounds of uh, a mixed martial art jujitsu fight in the background <laughs> happening because both of these men are like six foot something spider monkeys <laughs> but Devin's right there Graham's right there yeah it's well in hand okay so Lorik done the extremely um, well advised four straight gets out of the shuttle's arc reinforces the rear and he's going to activate Miranda second which confirms my suspicion that um, Jeremy definitely has uh, initiative, opting not to drop a bomb. I think that's a misplay on his part. I don't really see how effective a bomb would have been. Unless Fenra is going to stick around. Yeah, yeah, if Fen just won forwards to try and block Quick Draw. Okay, so we've got Omega Leader doing a two straight, staying in firing position. Definitely has lost arc on Lorik unless he tries to barrel roll right in front of the shuttle, but that's going to put him dangerously in front of that rock. 
I don't even think he would, because he can't fit the full backwards barrel roll there, so he would. Switching target lock to Miranda. Okay, so that TLT will probably mitigate some of that damage there, and he's going to have his uh, score to settle in effect. Okay, so we're going to mark Miranda, and I think Quick Draw is probably doing the sloop. Yes, sir. Duncan sporting his well-earned world championship uh, templates. Okay, so Quick Draw going to be in just an ideal firing position yep. to expertise turned off. Is he stressed? Yeah, that's too far for your. Checking though. Oh, just inside range two. Yes. Are they going to assign the stress token now? Find out. So yes, your is in. Gives him the second stress. Okay, which means uh, Quick Draw gets an action. He's going to take a focus. Which means he's probably going to try and finish off um, Lorik, I would imagine. Don't see many places where Duncan's whole list doesn't eat a bomb next turn, but we'll see. Right. And here comes the two bank with Fen Rao. Fen Rao going to get an ideal rear arc shot on Quick Draw, possibly taking a front arc shot on the shuttle if uh, Quick Draw dies, but we'll see. Fen Rao gets to shoot first, so he's going to get to choose what he wants to do. Okay. Going to focus up for defense. Maybe offense, actually. Sorry, what am I saying? Okay, so Fen Rao shoots first at PS10. Probably going to take a rear arc range one shot on Quick Draw. Yes, sir. Well, they're just measuring at this point. They like to weigh all their options, as any good player should. Yeah, you never want to rush it, right? Because maybe one option looks right, but then you measure something else. You're absolutely right, Don. He's going with the rear arc. Oh, just a crit. Lightweight frame is cocked. Going to roll that again. And it blanks out. Quick draw considering the focus, or he'll have to, yeah. Quick draw is going to spend the focus. Okay. Well, that helps a little bit, I guess. Doesn't double have a mod now. Oh, does have expertise, though. Okay. Um, so Fen Rao is going to take a stress to keep Quick draw from being able to use his target lock offensively on Lorik. Is Quick draw going to shoot Lorik? He is. Range one. So quick draw, just remind, rem, relying on his passive mod here with expertise. Did you know that passive mods are good in X-wing, Don? Why do you think they're good? <laughs> why do you think? Is that the popular opinion? Why do you think there's no ghost fens in the top eight? Because <laughs> passive mods are good. <laughs> <laughs> Although Eric Z Zhang and I had a great round eight battle, uh, and I squeaked, oh. I squeaked out so one by the skin of my so teeth. So you're responsible for no top eight. Goes no, no, it's not just me. Oh. I, I squeaked out a win against Eric, like by six points. Okay. And then the squeak. other two that were in contention for the top eight faced each other. Nice, beautiful. And they just MOV killed each other. Wonderful news. Okay, so quick draw rolling very well, three out of four. Lorik's going to take one crit, and the crit is no agility, structural damage. Okay, wrecked. Yes, I've said it once. Just, just for shits. Just, <laughs> just, just for shits how, and That's how it goes. <laughs> that's how we roll in Canada. Structural damage. Unfortunately, no one's going to be able to capitalize on Lorik's reduced agility because nobody else has him in arc. Miranda's spending a shield to roll offensively one extra die on Quitra. That will be a four die primary with target lock. And focusing. Hit, hit. Three hit, hits crit. and a crit. Jeremy, pro oh, sorry, Duncan probably going to spend palp here. Palping the evade. Okay. For two, takes hit, crit, and I think that, nope, oh, depending on what the crit is. Loose stabilizer. Loose stabilizer. Whites are stressful. You're going to be working in overtime now. Lorik unable to finish the job on quick draw. Miranda getting a range two from Omega shuttle, leader? I believe. Yes, no? No, I don't think the shuttle it? has Miranda in arc. Omega oh, leader blanking Omega out. Omega leader, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Keeping the stream well lubricated. Here we go. 
one hit. That is not what you want to see. And plenty of evades. Duncan's dice proving to be about as fickle as an Irish dock worker. <laughs> and they're both using the white... Those? 2016 oh, regional dice. I do not like those dice. I do like them. I like them for when I cross rocks. I like them for when I roll bombs. I like them for when I oh, they're that kind of uh, roll a major explosion. Oh. Uh, I like them. We're getting into Timbo's <laughs> dice collection head. <laughs> Tim, has, Tim has a an extensive dice uh, cornucopia to choose from. When I have two addictions him. that I'm willing to admit to. One of them is dice and the other is slicer tools. <laughs> That's true. He does like to slice. I was in my top I was in my top eight game and I did this bank and I'm like I said to my opponents like I have an addiction to slicers. But I've just realized that if I slice your Kylo Ren, you will then be able to advance sensors barrel roll away recall, from the rock that you're pointing at. So uh, it's probably not a good idea. Yeah, that was <laughs> definitely the right move well. to leave that on there. Did you know that Kylo Ren is hard to hit? Uh, yes, he's a slippery weasel. <laughs> he is. He's <laughs> I spent more time chasing him in the last two weeks than I'm willing to admit. Uh, Yor is going to have to consider his move carefully. If yeah. he takes his green one straight, he will bump uh, Omega Leader and be on the rock, Yeah, which is not necessarily a bad thing because Yor yeah. houses Palp. But he, but he also uh, doesn't want to be in a position where he's shooting, overshooting, and then overcommitting, and then he can't get out of that edge. Well, it'll be interesting, because I would I would surmise that even his one bank ship right would actually probably land his yeah. his port side on the yeah. neck of that rock. Yeah, it's really difficult. He could but, probably go know, three straight, maybe. He's not untouched, so it's, as far as that, it's fine. Palp still works if he's on a rock. No one's going to be in his arc to attack anyway, so be, him being on a rock... Not the end of the world. It's more about him being there so he can clear sure. a stress to absorb a stress. I'm just going to walk over the table super quick, Don, and get a quick damage update. I'll be right back. Okay. Shuttle's doing the one bank. There we go. So... Now we're going to see, you know, the fun thing about X-Wing where you get to play this game where let's see where you'd be if I wasn't me. We call it the choo-choo. All right, so this looks a little bit, uh, oh. No, oh, Paul Heaver is on the phone. That's outside assistant. And he's requesting to talk to the judge. Wow, this is something, people. <laughs> now we're uh, Paul Heaver calling in to say, hey, the harpoon condition needs to go off. So we're just trying to respect the fourth wall here, even though the harpoon condition happened. It's a missed opportunity, even though it is a must. And uh, that's where they're standing on that. And now here we are with the railroad track. So there you go, Paul Heaver, everyone. <laughs> I think that's the first time we've had a phone call. Yeah, a phone, I think that is the first time we had to phone a friend, but that's not an option in X-Wing. Would you like to phone a friend? What about the 50-50 option? Three-time world champion calls in to say, hey, hey, you doofuses, you forgot. Stop your game. Quit making me look, <laughs> we're going to Nova look bad. You know, it's funny. You, you ask a lot of lives. players why sometimes they don't like ending up on stream. <laughs> and, and that is a perfect example as why. That's why we have that policy. Yeah, I mean, so, we as yeah. we as uh, VWTV live casters, we see things, 
And for final matches like this, to keep the flow of the game going, we always take the chat off the screen because I don't really want to know what's going on in the chat world right now. Ultimately, the players are in charge of maintaining the game state like that. There's a judge in standby. There's a judge right by the type table. So we're going to let these two boys play their game. And yeah, let them play their game. In Canada, we like to have fun while we play. So, so here we go, moving ships Miranda again. Miranda is going to move the bombs. Yeah, we're going to have to mark Fenrau to get that bomb down there. Marker. Doing our best. <laughs> Mm. Trying to play this game. It's a very tough spot to try and mark Fenra. How do we get that bomb down properly? We're going to be doing some... A lot of... As they used to say, X-Wing's a gentleman's game. It should be, anyway. <laughs> mm, tough. It's a lot of... Tough, 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 tough. A lot of wiggling, cajoling. So they're just going to try and mark Fen from a different angle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so they're just waiting. <laughs> they're just waiting. They're going to wait until Fen actually moves before they put the bomb down. The template is there to mark where the bomb should go. On and Vassal, is this is really easy. Oh, is it? Yeah, you just press Thank the button. Thank you to another forward. Canadian, Michael Junot, move on, for creating uh, the Vassal mods. Mm. Even though Vassal doesn't exist, shh, don't tell anyone. Official, <laughs> but it's a great imaginary thing. Fair enough. Okay, so they're going to leave the one straight template there until Fen moves and then put right. the bomb down, which Just is the right call. I, w yeah. I would totally do the same thing. Yeah. Okay. yeah, we'll mark Fen at the back. So here we go, and there he is, and putting that in, we're bring, there's a judge hand, just to make sure it's in there, and there it is. Now we're good. We're putting back the ship. Hey, it's X-Wing. Teamwork. Yeah. One of the very taxing chores of being the judge is having some authorized hands on the table. Can't just have your friend. And Yor just missed that rock, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Wow, that's about as close as the rock in my game. You remember that? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so Omega Leader taking the sloop. You're going to eat that stress. Two sloop, such a good move mm -hmm. for the TIE fighter. TIE FO loving it. That and it's hard green system slot or yeah. tech slot. The TIE FO would be an ideal platform for something like the upcoming uh, Commander Krennic, uh -huh. uh, Director Krennic, I should say, uh, uh -huh. condition card, the, uh, the optimized prototype. Amazing. But unfortunately, he's uh, first order. Galactic right. Empire only for uh, Krennic's condition. All right. Putting any barrel roll there. Gonna get out of bomb dodge. Yep. Or getting out of dodge for bombs, I guess. Yeah. Is the right expression? That would be. And here goes the should be already dead. Omega horse. Quick, quick draw. draw. Yep. Just uh, looks like he's gonna be sucking a bomblet anyway, so no barrel rolling out of that, or is there? Depends on how crafty. I mean, do you really need to move Quick Draw at this point? Because if you move him, you might actually be able to block Fen onto that bomblet as well. Yeah, Jer Dunk Whoa. is just going to focus. So he's focusing. Yeah. Barrel roll. No, it's the right call, for sure. Oh, but there you go. They got in each other's heads. Jeremy knew Duncan would do that. And he got out of the way anyway. So we're going to have a double hit bomb going off on Omega Leader and on the shuttle. Oh, now loose stabilizer is coming into play. Because that was a white maneuver. Now there's some discussion about that. Okay, so Quick Draw should be stressed because he did a white maneuver. Yeah, but there was some discussion about why it wasn't, but we'll leave that to the two of them. Sure. Yor has now reached, reached his uh, stress max. Is that three? That's what he can get himself up to? Yes, anything more than three and he can't eat. Uh, that's yeah. where you want to keep your Yor, your enemies Yor. All right, so he's doing Miranda's a target lock. Miranda's taking a target lock. Bomb goes off. Here it is. 
Nothing for Fen or Miranda, okay, so the so shuttle and Jeremy Petra. has initiative, so he's rolling first. Uh, Jeremy's ships are out of range. It's just Duncan's two ships okay. that are in range, yeah. Interesting. I don't know if... Um, let's do the shuttle first. One damage. I imagine One Duncan will probably help of the a of the flank lambda. here. Try and keep your quick draw Palpatine alive. here. Yep. There you go. Palpatine. Oh, a lot, of, the bomb. a lot of screeching and screaming from the tables there. <laughs> Yeah, Duncan and Jeremy's mates all uh, watching the game with uh, just as much angst as the chat at home. Fen Rao rolling a rear arc shot and two rolling two hits. hits. So Palp is spent. We're going to get a... Spending the focus. Focus. Quick try had a focus from the turn before, or no, he got the focus. Okay. He per quick draw performed the focus just now. After instead a white maneuver. When he moved instead of barrel rolling. Ah. After performing a white maneuver. Right, and then he gave the third stress I to... Ah, uh, uh, he gave the stress to Yor. Yes, yeah. of course. That's what I was That's how they resolved it. And here we are. Looks like range Doing two the famous checking arc. So oh, we're seeing if the uh, Lorik has yeah. arc so on there's quick our draw. Judge. I there's would our, say probably there's yes. There's our yeah. wonderful Marshal, Devin. Devin's done a fantastic job this weekend. He's done so good. He, yeah. he stepped up and, you know... This is his lower shooting oh, range one. Expertise for four. Oh, I see. Quick draw Will shooting kill. first. Yeah, okay. All right, so we're going to see. Spin, spin, spin. Yeah, quick draw spin. shot at uh, Lowrick we'll there. Clearing up while we clean up, and thereby by by Lowrick. Expertise killed him there. So we've got Miranda and Venrao versus. Quick draw on one. The aces. Miranda, considering the shield spend here, I think she's probably just going to go primary. Rolling the target lock for hit double crit on quick draw. Quick draw has to roll perfect here. He's going to roll his three no. and blow up. Two crits. All right, well. I tell you, Omega Leader has his work cut out for him here, Don. Omega Leader is going to have to take on Fenrau and Miranda. Omega Leader has the score to settle on Miranda, which will help him. But, I mean, getting those long bombs in on a regen Miranda, we saw that in the last game where... Yeah. Um, uh, Jeremy was playing against a Poe. Oh, yeah. It just kept getting these shots. And I mean, low rig's damage mitigation is huge, but yeah. um, Fen has a way to passively uh, shut down Omega Leader just as quickly. Looks like Omega Leader might have a long bomb on Fen Rao here. Range 3 yep. obstructed. Range 3 through a rock. Yeah. Oh, the crowd getting lively here at the Sheridan Center, Breakout Con. Yeah, we've got simultaneously a uh, top eight IA going. We've got top two X-Wing going. Nothing from Omega Leader. Miranda in a position to just TLT the shuttle to death here and win oh, on absolutely. points. Jeremy Howard in the lead by nine points on his baby brother. A lot the of stress. furious on. eruption of the chat and cell phones in the room has died down. <laughs> Everybody realizing that it is, in fact, a cell game, phones, yes. and we are here to have fun. Right. I mean, I don't know what's more fun than an all-Howard final, Don. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, it would have been great to have a Canadian in the final, but hey, they keep coming back, so statistically, you keep bringing these top players up. They're going to win. They're going <laughs> and you can't hold it against them. Can't hold it. No, we don't hold anything against them. It's all in good fun. No. It's great. And one of the fact that one of these gentlemen are going to get a uh, a first round bye to the World Championships yep. will go a long way to helping them keep the uh, keep the trophy on this side of the pond this year. I mean, yeah. not that the FFG lottery didn't help with that, but <laughs> that's that's neither here nor there. <laughs> If only I was able to convince either of them to get on the party bus. Uh, they told me that they're both flying yeah. and that they, uh, they're they just not up for it. Yeah, no, but they'll be there. Apparently, uh, we like to party too much, Don. Well, I know you do. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I don't like to party more or less than anybody else. Okay, all right. 
Travis looking at me with a discerning look of disapproval and disbelief. I provide the party. I don't, you you I don't, certainly I, do. You bring the party with you. I try to. All right. Here we are. Bomblet going down. Miranda dropping Just a bomblet in case. from Max Lawls. One forward. And doing a one forward. Mm -hmm. Staying within TLT range to uh, knock back a few on the poor little uh, shuttle. I wonder if he's going to maintain TLT range there. Yep. Looks like he did. He might have oh. played this game one or two more Absolutely twice well before. Done. Jeremy and I have one thing in common, actually. It's that we're both big, big brothers of three. Both of us have two completely squirrely just little brothers that sometimes you just want to, you know. Okay. Well, <laughs> Duncan's nothing if not squirrely. I'll give him that. <laughs> So we've got a three bank from Omega Leader giving chase on Madam Doni. Uh, looks like Miranda's going to be able to get two TLT shots into your here and keep the pressure on Omega Leader. Fenrau at full health going to be able to three forward and continue to shut down Omega Leader. He's or doing just a one, one forward. forward. Nice. Excellent call. I thought he'd be taking a little bit more cautiously, but that's great. I mean, he can coordinate a. No, he's he just going to focus. focus. Yep. I mean, Jeremy has C-3PO and regen on Miranda. It's going to be almost impossible for a Mega Leader to get through all right. of that unless he can land a really good crit. Fenrau taking a range 2 rear arc shot at Omega Leader. He's deciding target at this point. He's just checking if he's got range right. to the shuttle he says as he's well. stressing. Hmm, tough choice. So he throws a stress on. Yep. Okay. So tactician triggering and you're eating that. Omega leader dodging it. All right. So Duncan's going to be in a really bad spot next turn with the shuttle anyway, out of position completely. Your will have to spend at least four turns coming about here. If Omega leader can't keep the pressure on and take out Fen Rao, um, Duncan's going to have it. But Jeremy continuing to be frustrated with his dice, rolling two on the second recharge volley. Oh, Omega Leader going to have to spend some tokens here. Yep, spends both of them to not die or take a, sh take a shield there. Just as a reminder as well, um, Duncan's Omega Palpatine Leader does have a hull upgrade. Omega Leader palping for a crit and a score to settle for two crits. Oh, three of aids. Natties, there we go. Oh, look at the, the Irish. Look at the Irish. A little easy potatoes. <laughs> I think Jeremy has rolled more natties in the last two oh. games than I've ever seen him. It might in the, be the, the year of I've the Jeremy. Him. Might be the year of the Jeremy. The one true Howard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. He hasn't done anything to to, fa to Ren. Uh, God, i got to say, Don, now, now that it is literally right in front of us, the paint job on that shuttle is just world class. Oh, it is. It's so done so well. It's really done. And all of his... Uh, like as I was mentioning in earlier, all of his upgrade cards are uh, custom, uh, looks like, mo for the most part. And then they're all... Looks like Expertise, really Sensor Cluster, a few others are not. But yeah, he's definitely got some yeah. funny score to sell yeah. stuff going on there. Yeah. But you know, it goes to show, I mean, I don't know if you got a chance to peruse the room over the last weekend or so, but well, weekend, well, the last two days, but um, just the array of uh, custom alt arts and mods and oh, yeah. really interesting amounts of time that people have taken to artistically um, enhance their X-Wing list. It's just been really cool to see oh, you yeah. walk around the room. You saw, Absolutely. I saw one guy who had a full-on Lego oh. Millennium Falcon on, wow. on, on a stand. He was playing Ray Lorik and his, his Falcon was made of wow, Lego. props to that. That's nice. Yeah. That's something. Uh, Eric Zhang has one of the most beautiful painted uh, oh, VCXs. He's so I've talented. Seen. He just he spends a lot of time, or he's got a lot of talent to be able to, to do the paint jobs. Of course, Philip Gales was uh, at the tournament with his uh, custom modded decimator with the oh, rare yeah. fins does, on it. He, he did awesome my Shadowcaster as well. That's going to be mighty close there, Mr. Duncan. Oh, yeah. Now, of course, we have. There it is. Oh, he's calling he's it. Calling it. He's calling it. He's calling it. Excellent game by both Howards. All right, so we've got um, the winner there. A, a, a game of champions. And Jeremy. thank you very much again to uh, VWTV Live, folks, uh, for the entire weekend. If you'd like to show your support, their Patreon is up. Like and subscribe to their YouTube channels. Uh, R5 Don 4. And, uh, oh, no, they're going to play it out. Good.
I oh, thought... it was like, oh, I guess he, he missed the edge of the board. So that's what happened there. We good. That I'm glad they're going to play it out. No, this is good. This is good. Okay, so, great. Hey, so we can take down that winner at this point. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to take but, it down. Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> it's a it's a foregone conclusion. But they are going to play it out. But what happened there was that he, he had the three stress. He had nowhere to go. He couldn't do the two hard. No, he couldn't. No, it so was, it was it was it was it yeah. was only his chance. So just off the board there that we saw, but we thought that he. It's like Agent Smith from the Matrix. Right. It is inevitable, inevitable. When I saw the handshake, that was just like you know. That's I just, thought it was a concession as yeah. well. Yeah. No, it was. No, these guys are gentlemen. They're going to give each other the respect of finishing the match. Sure. I like it. And the respect to our country for coming and taking away our championship. <laughs> They've both been very respectful this weekend. It was very nice to see. Yeah. Uh, it's not always something that uh, is easy to do. Sometimes you just got to grit your teeth and smile through them. But, uh, no, they, everybody's had a great time this weekend. Hmm. Omega Leader might actually just barrel roll here and try and keep the pressure up on Miranda. Yeah. Well, you got to... Well, we're coming into actually no, barrel into regulation range. round time. This being a finals international, it was two hour, but now here we are at 115. But I think that probably we're going to see a more unhinged and reckless Duncan at this point. He's not going to be super cautious because he's just playing to play. He's just playing with his brother. So hashtag YOLO Duncan. There we go. We've got this spying in here. Maybe we'll get. I don't know if we get any more uh, phone-ins from any former world champions or not. But they still both have two lifelines left to use, Don. Nan Torfs, if you're out there. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like range three. Just squeezed it in between them. Okay, so Fen Rao going to take a range three shot here. Oh, double two crit. Two crits. Jeremy just oh. brutally continuing to use that zero-point EPT. Now, rolling TLT did Regen not take a focus. For one. Oh, yeah, slightly moved, slightly shifted that, giving back to the judge to Bingo. make the call. Regen shot for one. Regen. And one evade. Miranda at full, Fen at full, Omega leader at full with a hull upgrade. I think that's what we're watching right now is an exchange between Fen. No, that was Fen and Omega Leader. And there we go. On to the planning phase one more time. Miranda got herself back to full health here. Mm -hmm. Omega Leader undamaged and unable to do damage at this point. Fen's uh, pilot ability and token continuing to just protect him from any sort of um, onslaught that, that uh, Omega Leader's trying to have. It's really tough. Yeah. I mean, does does Jer does Duncan try and switch targets here and kill Fen? I mean, it you know, really doesn't help him in the long run, does it? It's really, it's it's going to be really interesting to see what he does at this point that he's decided not to concede and he's decided to play it through. See what we're going to see. Uh, Apparently, MOV is important at this point. Yeah, they want to advance. <laughs> they want to advance to the next round. <laughs> Nobody wants to ever give in to their big brother. Believe me. I used to play Smash Brothers with my two little brothers all the time. And the only time that I would actually get them concede to me in the video game would swiftly be proceed or followed by the two of them hopping on me trying to beat the crap out of me with their <laughs> Nintendo 64 controllers. All right, Miranda dropping a bomb. No surprise there. Yeah, just in case... Uh Omega Leader thought, hey, I'm going to go backwards and barrel roll into that. No. Well, Omega Leader deciding maybe, I mean, if he did want to bug out, it wouldn't be a, a bad option. Miranda yeah. going to turn and fight. Yeah. I don't see him wanting to bug out. I mean, there's nothing left. There's no better position he's going to be able to get himself in. Mm. Duncan having gone the whole weekend undefeated to this point. Correct, uh, made yes. it through Swiss at 6-0. Uh, and 0. Yeah. Made it 2-0 uh, and 0 today at Progression Swiss. And then he and, played our uh, other 6-0. and 0. Yeah, and played the other 6-0, and 0, Greg Chandler Burns, which was actually a rematch and apparently was a nail-biter. Now, Jeremy did uh, well as well. He finished third overall in Swiss. Uh, did he? I oh, believe he did. I think it was fourth on his. No, I was fourth. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think he was third. Um, had an excellent record as well. I think he only had one loss in Swiss, and then he went 2-0 and again today. Checking no damage from the no bomb damage. there. Omega Leader back to full tokens. 
Miranda just hoping to roll natties at this point. She's been locked down by Omega Leader. All right, Fen taking stressing. a rear, stressing him. Yeah, there you go. Two hits. Going to have to spend a token here. Spends the evade. No, nope, spends the focus because he's got calm, really. Not a bad call. Okay, so Miranda has initiative. Looks like he spent the focus from the token that's missing. He spent the focus on the shot to oh, okay. mod the defense die. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Miranda considering burning a shield, regening a shield, actually, in fact. Rolling one. Miranda at full health. Omega Leader having to spend the evade or take a shield. Ooh, tough call. Yeah, spending Spends. the evade. Okay, so this is the worst situation for a TIE fighter. There you go. Score to all hit to crit, but it's shields. It's Miranda. C3PO's for zero. You just do that, and you just keep wailing away on Miranda, and she just oh, he didn't runs away. There? He took two shields off. I think he did. He's, he did call C3PO, I believe. But, you know. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he mitigated one, took two shields. I, yeah. can, no, I guess he took one too many shields there. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah, but being in that situation, I've been there so many times with the TIE Fighter and Miranda. It's like, well, yeah, look at all that work you did. I'm just getting all my shields back. Well, both of these boys in for what is undoubtedly going to be a long drive full of many questions and phone calls <laughs> on their way true. back to Maryland. They did drive up. <laughs> <laughs> but just been an absolute great weekend. Uh, big thanks to Breakout Con for... Hosting everything, and uh, sure. and our head marshal for the weekend, uh, Devin Monkhouse, and uh, right. tournament organizers, uh, yep. Travis, Victor, and Graham. Yep, the PTL really stepping up to make sure the X-Wing event went off really well in their hometown. Yeah, we didn't want to make it a PTL event. It's the Canadian Nationals, no, but thanks. But, you, yeah. know, it's, you know, it's all, you look around, it's all the PTL crew. I mean, we they stepped up. Oh, Jeremy considering his movements very carefully here. I think if Omega Leader probably two turns left, he's still possible. No, he might be out of bomb range by there. Yeah. I mean, a one forward for Miranda here is not necessarily a bad idea. <laughs> no. No, she, then she'll be able to get that, continue to get that uh, four dice attack. Yeah, Jeremy hasn't been able to eat through Omega Leader's shield yet, mainly because, of course, he, Miranda is locked down, so she's got zero mods. Right. Um, ideally, he wants to get back into TLT range and rely on variants to keep the token count low and his yeah, okay. Here potentials comes the bomb for, uh, for damage higher. Judge hire. helping. Judge hands again, helping place the bomblet. Oh, so there we go. Hard two. It's holding the bomb. Yeah, there's to block the hard two, so Mar Omega Leader... Has very few options now. Yeah, if there Miranda takes the two bank left, he may not have a Miranda in arc. Yeah. But he does the two bank. Probably not going to have Miranda in arc there. They're almost parallel side by side. I Tight. think math says that's what Does the evade. Happen. Powers up the comm relay. Fenrod probably doing a one straight. Oh, no. Too hard. Too, too bank. hard. Yeah, too hard. Yeah. Flight assist astromech probably going to trigger here. Yeah. He could probably one bank boost, right? And then still do his, his fun stuff on Omega Leader. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Tough call for yeah. Jeremy. So he's just trying to make, see if he can get that range two shot in just to stress and control. Yeah, a barrel roll shift left to just next to that rock might not be a bad spot to yeah. just one forward the following turn and keep the rear gun on Omega Leader. Yeah. So there we are, just like you called it. But it looks like it's not going to be able to have arc. But he will be in a good position for next turn. Yeah, I don't think the the arc was a huge thing here. I mean, Omega Leader's definitely taken a bomb. Yeah. Okay, so they're going to roll the bomb first. Not the damage for Miranda. Yeah. Duncan to roll his bomblet. Ouchie. Oh, Ouch, Kibibbles. Is that a crit, too? Crit My is. goodness. Direct hit. Oof. A three so damage two hull. Because he does have that hull upgrade. Well, uh, Miranda, considering burning a shield, I think she's going to read in. Okay, Miranda regening a shield, rolling one. No mods. 
and Omega Leader evading cleanly. Did you know that bombs are good against high agility ships that lock down your dice mods, Don? You know what? They actually are. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out, it's a good thing. Well. Well, I think Fenral will take a leisurely one bank here. I don't see a mega leader getting bombed this turn, but no. Miranda could probably, probably not. run forward and do well by herself. I mean, one forward might actually not block Omega Leader's one turn left. No, no, they're close enough. The one turn would probably bump. Yeah. And then if, if the Omega Leader did do the one turn, the bomblet would almost definitely hit it. So I think Duncan's probably best move is to sloop right here at this point. Oh, that would be a good move. That's always good. Which again would get an ideal timing for Miranda to get back into TLT range and mm -hmm. try to keep the pressure on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Omega, Miranda, Omega you get too leader. close to me, it's bad. You get it too far away from me, it's bad. Yeah, <laughs> she's not a nice lady. I actually only punched my Miranda. I own three K-Wings, and I have since 2007. Oh, we know you own two, three right. K-Wings. So For anybody who doesn't know that Don owns three K-Wings, in the VWTV Live archives of Toronto Regionals two years ago, there's a clinic you, on how to fly might, three bombing K-Wings. I find some. But I only just recently popped the middle button on my Miranda just to try it out with Nim and Miranda. I was like, oh, this is too broken. So I put it back. I don't play Rebels very often. I think one Nim Miranda made top eight. Yeah. 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 There were the, not that many in the in the field no, that I saw. It seemed to calm down since the nerf, which, you know, rightly so, because it was so ridiculous before. Indeed, and there's plenty out there that's, uh, that causes it a, quite a bit of trouble. I know that Duncan played uh, one of our PTL players who was flying Nim Miranda and, and just took him apart. Mm -hmm. um, the other Nim Miranda I saw that played... Uh, Ghost Fen got. We saw that on stream on Friday. Got tabled. Um, it's a fantastic list if you get the right matchups. Otherwise, you get spanked like you stole something. Right. Fenral taking a range three shot rear arc on Omega Leader for Nada. Bupkis. No, no tactician. And Fenral considering his pilot ability here. Miranda going to TLT for two on Omega Leader. Gonna have to spend and a token there. Read. There we are. Uh, gonna spend a shield and roll one extra die. Ooh, Looks like bold he's strategy. Holding, he's considering he's got a thumb on the shield token. Yep, spending it. Here we go. Ooh, powering it up to a four. Oh my hit. goodness! That's the luck of the Irish oh. if I've ever seen it. Uh, well, proves to be the right call after all. TLT volley goes through. Mega leader down to one health. A leader return oh. fire on Miranda. Miranda will probably CP 3PO for zero. Roll the evade. Okay. Well, Mega Leader is stressed, so the only possible non bomb position he has at this point is probably a two bank barrel roll. Oh, man. Not a great spot. Then the TLT just come around and, oh, TIE Fighter life. Both of these gentlemen having flown absolutely just spectacularly all weekend. Oh, yeah. Um, I know I've spoken to at least four or five people that they played, and they all had a great time. Um, mm -hmm. They're actually very gracious while they're playing. I know I play Duncan, and they're incredibly gracious guys to play against. Right. Um, as has everybody been this weekend. The thing I wanted to note, of course, is that both of them have almost uh, polar opposite architects, or archetypes, I should say, for their lists, right? You've got an aces list with right. help. And then you've got a high um, high damage mitigation um, ordinance list for right. the region uh, in ego here, yep. and it just goes to show how uh, diverse the the game state is right now. I mean, both of these completely different archetypes find their way through uh, the field um, on their own merits, and then meet each other in the finals. You know, right. Just a little bit of a tweak there, so one base length for the ship, one base length for the one backwards. Just make sure Miranda's in absolutely the right spot. And the bombs also, because those bomb tokens are so light. Yeah, they, they shift so easily. Like yeah. The acrylic ones slide all over the place too. They do, yeah. Stuff. 
That's why I tack mine. Yep. Jeremy just expertly uh, yep. knowing that that was the right oh, move yeah. for Duncan. Amazing spatial awareness. Yeah, Duncan has to barrel roll to get out of bomb range, which leaves him tokenless for the uh, for the variant shots in the TLT here. Let's see if uh, Jeremy burns a shield token to finish off his baby brother here. Big Become. shout out again to uh, to V Double TV Live for hosting all the content this weekend. To all the uh, the squadrons and teams and players for our well over 150 uh, person tournament that we had this weekend. And just as a reminder, uh, V Double TV Live is simultaneously streaming this weekend. And if you check out their uh, their other side of their stream, the Destiny Championships are going to be up shortly. And I believe the Imperial Assault is currently streaming. No, we're not streaming. You're not going to do the I? Okay, that's fine. No problem. All right, so Miranda rolls one on the first TLT volley. And that'll do it. That'll Great game, players. Now, Congratulations to Jeremy the 2018 Howard, champion. champion. Good luck at Worlds, Jeremy. And that's uh, that's it for our five and Don four. Right, Don, any final thoughts? No, just thanks, everybody, for making this a great